let's go back to Exodus 16 chapter. Verse 4. Then said the Most High, while Mashiach was shouting to Moses, Behold, I will rain bread from heaven to her for you. And the people shall go out and gather a certain rate every day, that I may prove them whether they will walk in my law or no. This is serious. Go to Deuteronomy the eighth chapter. And So remember all the way which the most high thy power led thee these forty years in the wilderness to humble thee. It's proven us by humbling us, and to prove us, to prove thee, to know what was in thine heart, what was in their mind, whether thou would have keep his commandments or no. Will keep his commandments or not. So it's telling you he's humbling us and proving us whether we're gonna follow the most high's law, such commandments or not. Now you're taught that you're not under the Most High's commandments. You don't have to follow the Most High's laws. By these pork chop eating preachers. They tell you to pray over your food. No matter what it is. And it's okay. And that's a lie. The Most High gave us dietary laws of what we can eat and what we can't eat. Period. Verse 16. Who fed thee in the wilderness with matter, which thy fathers knew not that he might humble thee, see, and that he might prove thee to do thee good at thy latter end, see. Going back to Exodus 16, verse 5, and it shall come to pass that on the sixth day they shall prepare that which they bring in, and it shall be twice as much as they gather daily. So on the sixth day, and so you look, you gotta look at this for what he's having us to do originally to our life now. Because the seventh day is the Sabbath. So the sixth day, he's telling us, and it shall come to pass in verse 5 of Exodus 16 chapter, on the sixth day they shall prepare that which they bring in. And it shall be twice as much as they gather daily. So on the sixth day, he said, gather twice the month, the amount. He said, gather twice the amount. So you have enough for the seventh day. And Moses and Aaron said unto all the children of Israel, At even, then ye shall know that the Most High has brought you out from the land of Egypt. So when you turn to evening time, you're going to know that the Most High is the one that brought you out of the land of Egypt. And in the morning, then ye shall see the glory of the Most High, for that he heareth your murmurings against the Most High, while Mashiach got shot. And what are you eating, that ye murmur against us, And Moses said, this shall be when the Most High shall give you in the evening flesh to eat and in the morning bread to be to the full. For the Most High, while Mashiach, shall I hear of your murmurings, which you murmur against him. And what are we? Your murmurings are not against us, but against the Most High. And a lot of people, they don't really realize that either when you say, you got to think spiritually, but they're really not murmuring against you. They're really murmuring against the Most High. And it's lost when you tell them what's right. People make up their own way of thinking of what's right and what's wrong. They can't back it up from the scriptures, though. That's why I said many are 
deceived by their own vain opinion and evil suspicion has overthrown their judgment. Too much pride and envy and jealousy in this world right now. Too many vain imaginations coming up. That's why he said he's going to be the Gentiles going to come in the last day and say, surely our fathers have inherited lies. You know, vanity and things where there's no profit in Jeremiah 16, 19. So, paraphrase it. So, you know, our people are taught that they're Gentiles. Some have a Gentile state of mind even though they call themselves an Israelite. They still have a Gentile state of mind. They still have been Edomanized, I might say. Or they've been uh, Willie Lynchized because they still follow the same traits that we follow from the Willie Lynch letter. Being against each other. Don't know how to get along. Don't know how to have peace in their life. So therefore, speak, they, they say, this old saying, misery loves company. But here we are murmuring. You see, we murmured. In Exodus, we're murmuring in the New Testament. Here's some of shock, y'all was shocked. He here, he's there. He's here as a spirit or angel. The glory of the Most High, I'm not sure y'all was shot. Just like they murmured here, they murmured when he came in the flesh. Same spirits, same people, same people today. Not satisfied, always complaining or murmuring or don't really want to see things the way they should see it. Spiritually, we're talking. Verse 8 again. And Moses said, This shall be when the Most High Wild Mashiach Yahushua shall give you in the evening flesh to eat, and in the morning bread to the full. For the Most High Wild Mashiach Yahushua heareth your murmurings, which ye murmur against him. And what are we? Your murmurs are not against us, but against the Most High Wild Mashiach Yahushua. Tell them plainly and clear. See, that's, that's what people don't understand because we haven't been taught the Bible as a people. So we, we so caught up in our own feelings that we think that whatever we say is right. Look, this is Israel. Um, we'll go to 1 Samuel, the 8th chapter. First Samuel is the eighth chapter, and I'm gonna start at verse four. It says, Then all the elders of Israel gathered themselves together and came to Samuel unto Ramah, and said unto him, Behold, thou art old, and thy sons walk not in thy ways. Talk about Samuel's sons. Now make us a king to judge us like all the nations. Here we go. Say, you old Samuel, make us a king to judge over us like all the nations, like the other nations. What the Most High told that? What the Most High tell us in Jeremiah 10? Mind you, all they have is the law and the prophets. So they have, the, they have Jeremiah have the, the law. What did he say? What did the Most High tell us? Jeremiah 10 and, and uh, One and two. Jeremiah 10, 1 and 2. Hear ye the word which the Most High speaketh unto you, O house of Israel, talking to the twelve tribes of Israel. Thus said the Most High, while Mashiach goes shot, learn not the way of the heathen. Point blank. Learn not the way of the heathen. That's what he told us. But what do we do? Psalms 105 and 35. That's what we did. This is what we just heard. No, Psalms 106 and 35. Psalms 106 and 35. But we're mingled among the heathen and learned their works. Okay? This is what we did. So go back to 1 Samuel's 8th chapter. Verse 5 again. And said unto him, Behold, thou art old. And thy sons walk not in thy ways. Now make us a king to judge us like all the nations. 
He said, learn not to wear the heathens. They look to look at the nations and want a king to be over Israel like the nations. And the whole side said unto Samuel, hearken unto the voice of the people and all that they say unto thee. He said, listen to them. Everything that they're saying to you. For they have not rejected things that ain't reject Samuel. But they have rejected me. That I should not reign over them. He said, according to all the works which they have done since the day that I brought them up out of, the, out of Egypt, even to this day, wherewith they have forsaken me and served other idols, so do they also unto thee. Now therefore hearken unto, let me listen unto their voice, how be it yet protest soundly unto them. And show them the matter of the king that shall reign over them. See? Going back to Exodus 16 chapter. Verse 8 again. And Moses said, This shall be when the Most High my second shall, shall bring you in the evening flesh to eat, and in the morning bread to the full, for that the Most High my second shall heareth your murmurings. So he hear your murmurings. He hear what you're doing. Which he murmur against him. And what are we? Your memories are not against us, but against the Most High. As we see in examples of. It's our people. It's children of Israel. Holy than thou, right? <laughs> Don't seem like it. <laughs> you can't prove it by these scriptures for sure. That's why Amashar Gilashar said this. Look at Luke 10 and 16. Luke the 10th chapter, the 16th verse. He said, He that heareth you, heareth me. And he that despises you, despises me. And he that despises me, despises him that sent me. So it's no different what he said here than what we're dealing with when we read in Exodus. Say, he that heareth you, heareth me. And he that despises you, despises me. And he that despises me, despises him that sent me. So, if the people would have heard Moses, they would have heard Amashiach Yahushah. And they most certainly would have heard the words of the Mosiah. This is, what's, this is what you got to see. That's that order. Most high, Mashiach, Yahweh, Shai, to the angel, the spirit, to man, woman, and child. He's letting you know the order of things, how it works. Just a moment. <laughs>
Exodus 16 and 9. And Moses spake unto Aaron, said to all the congregation of the children of Israel, Come near before the Most High, while Mashiach shall shot, for ye have heard your murmurings. And it came to pass, as Aaron spake unto the whole congregation of the children of Israel, that they looked toward the wilderness, and behold, the glory of the Most High appeared in the cloud. Right? Say, the glory of the Most High appeared in the cloud. What's the cloud? Psalms 104 and 3. Psalms 104 and 3. Who layeth the beams of his chambers in the waters, who maketh the clouds his chariots. See that? He maketh the clouds his chariots. So the clouds are a vehicle, what they call today a UFO, an unidentified flying object. We call them IFOs, identified flying objects, because we know what they are. The chariots of the most high, the angels. So, and it also, if we look, go back to 1 Corinthians, the 10th chapter, it tells you who the glory of the most high is. Let's start at verse 1. 1 Corinthians, the 10th chapter, the first verse. Moreover, brethren, I would not that ye should be ignorant, meaning not knowing, how that all our fathers were under the cloud. See, when we know the glory of the Most High, who was the Mashiach that was shot, was in that cloud. So we got to prove it. And all passed through the sea. And we're all baptized into Moses in the cloud. And in the sea. And did all eat the same spiritual drink. And did all drink the same spiritual drink. Excuse me. And all did. Verse 3. And all did eat the same spiritual meat. And did all drink the same spiritual drink. For they drank of that spiritual rock that followed them. Remember it was a spirit. An angel. Mashiach Yahushai. And that rock was a Mashiach Yahushai. What he's saying. So the glory of the Most High is a Mashiach Yahushai. And see, the problem with Israel is this. You look at Deuteronomy 32, even until this day. Verse 15. Deuteronomy 32 and 15. But Jezreel, another name for the 12 tribes of Israel, waxed fat and kicked. Thou art wax, waxing fat. Thou art grown thick. Thou art covered with fatness. Then he forsook the Most High while Mashiach was shine which made him and lightly esteem the rock of his salvation. Who was the Mashiach Yahushai? We just read it. Lightly esteemed him. Didn't care. They provoked him to jealousy with strange idols. With abomination provoked they him to anger. They sacrificed him to devils as they do today. Not and not to the Most High. To the idols whom they knew not, the new idols that came newly up, whom your fathers feared not. Of the rock of Mashiach Yahushua that begat thee, thou art unmindful, not thinking about him, and has forgotten the Most High of Mashiach Yahushua that formed thee. And when the Most High saw it, when he saw this, that they lightly esteemed of Mashiach Yahushua, he abhorred them, he hated them. Because of the provoking of his sons and of his daughters. And he said, I will hide my face from them. I will see what their end shall be. For they are a very forward generation. Children in whom is no faith. We got our faith in. Mashiach, Yahushua. No different here than it was in the New Testament. It's the same thing. Say, so lightly extinguished. Therefore, they had no faith in them. Going to the most on our behalf. It's all the same. It's just spiritually, we're not spiritually endowed to see as we ought to see. As we should see. Going back to Exodus 16 chapter verse 10. And it came to pass as Aaron spake unto the whole congregation of the children of Israel 
that they look toward the wilderness, and behold, the glory of the Most High appeared in the cloud. The Mashiach Yahushai appeared in the cloud. And the Most High spake to Moses, saying, I have heard the murmurings of the children of Israel, speaking to them, saying, At even ye shall eat flesh, and in the morning ye shall be filled with bread, and ye shall know that I am the Most High your power. And it came to pass that at evening the quails came up and covered the camp, and in the morning the dew lay down, lay round about the host. And when the dew that lay was gone up, behold, Upon the face of the wilderness, there lay a small round thing, a, as small as the war frost on the ground. A very small thing that laid all over the ground. And when the children of Israel saw it, they said one to another, Is it manna? But they risked not what it was. They didn't know what it was. They said one to another, Is it manna? It is manna. For they wished not what it was, and Moses said unto them, This is the bread which the Most High have given you to eat. This is the thing which the Most High, what Mashiach Yoshai has commanded. Gather of it every man according to his eating, and homer for every man according to the number of your persons. Take ye every man for them which are in his tents. And the children of Israel did so and gathered some more, some less. And when they did meet it with a homer, he that gathered much had nothing over, and he that gathered little had no lack. They gathered every man according to his eating, as much as you could eat. Titus, when you look at 2 Corinthians, the 8th chapter, and the 15th verse, just to show you how things go back to the old, because all they have is the law and the prophets, it says, 2 Corinthians, the 8th chapter, the 15th verse, as it is written, he that hath gathered much had nothing over, and he that hath gathered little had no lack. That's what we just read. So, this is all they had to go by. So they're going back and saying the things in remembrance of our people right here where we had in Exodus 16 chapter. Verse 18, Exodus 16 and 18. And when they did meet it with an omer, he that gathered much had nothing over, and he that gathered little had no lack. That's what he just quoted. 2 Corinthians 8 15. They gathered every man according to his eating. As much as you can eat, you can eat. And Moses said, Let no man leave of it till the morning. Don't leave any of it. Notwithstanding, they hearken not unto Moses. They ain't listen. But some of them left of it until the morning. And they bred worms and stank. Give them the order. Don't leave none of it to the morning. Can gather it up. But now, nah, some of them didn't listen. When they woke up, there was worms going on everywhere. It said, but some of them left of it until the morning. And it bred worms and stank. It was stinking. And Moses was wroth with them. He got angry with them. And they 
gathered it every morning, every man according to his eating. And when the sun waxed hot, it melted. And it came to pass that on the sixth day, they gathered twice as much bread, two homers for one man. And all the rulers of the congregation came and told Moses, and he said unto them, This is that which the Most High hath said. Tomorrow is the rest of the Holy Sabbath unto the Most High. You hear that? Tomorrow is the rest of the Holy Sabbath of the Most High. Bake that which ye will bake today, and see that ye will see. And that which remaineth over, lay up for you to be kept until the morning. So whatever's left over, keep it till the morning. And they laid it up until the morning, as Moses bade. And it did not stink. Neither was there any worm thereof. That was on the sixth day, mind you. Not any other day, because it was getting enough for the seventh day, of this, which is the Sabbath. And Moses said, verse 25, Eat that today, for today is a Sabbath unto the Most High. Today ye shall not find in the, it in the field. Six days ye shall gather it, but on the seventh day, which is the Sabbath, in it there shall be none. Not going to be any come down on the Sabbath day, which is the seventh day. And it came to pass that there went out some other people on the seventh day for to gather. And they found none. Israelites that don't want to listen, don't want to hear, don't want to hearken. And the Most High said unto Moses, How long refuse ye to keep my commandments and my laws? Can you imagine what he's saying to us now? When he gave us the law here, and the majority was following him, but here now, other people say we don't have to follow them, the most high's laws. We don't have to follow no laws. Verse 28. And the most high, while my strength of Christ said to the Moses, How long refuse ye to keep my commandments and my laws? Praise. It's Psalm 78. And ten. Psalm seventy-eight talk about a lot of times that we were in, you know, the time that we're in the wilderness. We're gonna look at. Uh